Today we're in Germany, 216 kilometers north of Berlin, in the northern state of Mecklenburg, in the city of Schwann. We're near the city center at the Warnow River Bridge. The Kunstmuseum here in Schwann has organized an excursion down the river as an opportunity for us to paint along its banks. The boat is ours for the morning, so with Sebastian Molt, the gallery's administrator, along to translate, we'll be the only passengers. We're underway, and soon the Warner Brecke or Warno Bridge is in the distance behind us. There's been a bridge over the Warno here since at least 1328. For centuries, this was the only river crossing between Betzal and Rostock, and so its importance cannot be understated. The first bridge was a wooden bascu or drawbridge. For over 600 years, the bridge was maintained and refurbished here to handle road traffic to and from Schwann, in and out of Gastro, and be opened if necessary to let ships pass through. The Warno River travels 155 kilometers from a small meadow river at Greben to the Baltic Sea at Rostock. For years, this was an important trade route, so an opening bridge at Schwann was a necessity. Ken Van Rees is the first to start setting up. He's decided to paint off the back of the boat, trolling for images. I've decided to join him. The view from the back of the boat is fabulous but it soon becomes apparent that the back deck's protection from any sort of breeze and the direct sunlight is gonna be far too hot for me. I decide to return to the comfort of the shade inside the cabin. In the late 19th century, a waterway connection from Rostock to Berlin was planned. And in 1882, a lock was built at the Rostock Mill Dam. By 1896, a 37-kilometer route of the Uberwarno from Rostock to Betzau was upgraded to the Warno Fog Waterway. In the following years, there were summer excursions on the river between Rostock, Schwann, Betzau, and Gastro, which brought people and traffic to the artist colony in Schwann. The original timber construction was replaced in 1928 by an iron and reinforced concrete lifting bridge, but not before it was painted several times by the artists from Franz Bucca's artist colony. Peter Paul Drehring created Warno Bricka in Schwann and Ander Warno Bricka, both wonderful portraits of the historic wooden bridge. Soon we've all settled into painting from the moving boat, but this proves to be difficult as the landscape keeps changing. Sebastian offers to talk to the captain. Since we're the only passengers, the skipper agrees to drop anchor at a spot where we can stay for an hour or so. There are lots of houses and cabins along the river in this section, so it seems like a great spot. Thank you. 
The newer lifting bridge at Schwann lasted only until May 1, 1945, one of the last days of the war, when it was heavily damaged by bombing. It took until 1950 for the lifting bridge to be operational again. The shipping traffic diminished after the war, and by the mid-1960s, only about 20 ships a year passed through the Schwann lift bridge, mostly repair ships, river police, and very rarely, freighters. By 2008, the repaired 1928 structure was starting to fail. On May 20, 2008, the Schwerin People's Daily reported that the lifting bridge at Schwann could no longer be saved and a new bridge was to be built. With the decline of shipping on the Varno, it was also announced that for the first time in over 600 years, there would be no opening bridge at Schwann. The new bridge offered the opportunity for a modern design which blends harmoniously with the cityscape. Designed by Rostock architects Andre Kepke and completed in 2009, the new bridge's sloping truss girders trace the silhouette of a swan. The yellow and blue colors of the half-timbered upper belts are based on the coat of arms of Schwann. Thanks for watching. Click like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.